Hello everyone, this is Shiloh. This is my final Rube Goldberg machine video. There will be a thorough explanation of my machine. First, I will describe my RGM in terms of simple machines. This is the whole picture of my machine, and now I am going to zoom in at each step. The first step uses the book as an incline plane to make the phone hit the ball. The ball then acts as the 3D wheel which hit the dominoes, which are levers with the floor as the pivot. The dominoes then hit another 3D wheel. When the last domino falls, it pulls down the smaller domino on the top and triggers the ball to move. It is a pulley because it changes the direction of how the machine moves. The marble, which is a 3D wheel, then rolls down the incline plane. This 3D wheel then drops and rolls down another two incline planes. Again, the 3D wheel drops and twirls and rolls down another incline plane. It hits the levers. The toy car accelerates down the incline plane. The needle attached acts as a wedge to pop the balloon. Now I am going to describe the machine in terms of energy transfer. This is my whole machine working in normal speed. Now let's talk about the energy transfer using this slow motion clip. There is not much change in the first step, but when the ball drops, GP goes down and KE and TE goes up dramatically. As you can see, KE returns to zero whenever there is a collision. And at the fifth step, GP suddenly goes up because there is a pulling. At the 6th and 7th step, we can see a gentle incline in TE and KE and a gentle decline in GPE because of the ramp. And then we continue to see the ups and downs in KE because the marble collide with the other cardboard. As the marble drops into the bottle, there is a sharp decline in GPE. And as the marble twirls, there is a gentle incline in KE and GPE just stays the same. As the marble moves through the tube, KE increases slowly. At the end of the machine, GP drops, KE drops, and T stays the same. T is always proportional to KE, except for the fact that it does not decrease. Now let's talk about the change of direction. This is the step when the direction changes from 180 degrees to 90 degrees. This is the pulley step. The domino falls downwards and triggers the ball to move towards the right. When the toy car rolls down the ramp, the direction changes from 90 degrees to 135 degrees. Now let's talk about the friction. As the marble moves through the tube, it needs to gain enough force to hit the dominoes and make the dominoes fall. At first I used a plain styrofoam board like this, but then I happened to find out that the marble would get stuck in those concave places. So then I added a layer of tape. The marble can now move easily down the ramp and hit the dominoes. Let's talk about the air resistance. These are the dominoes I used for my Rube Gober machine. The one on the left is the big domino, and the one on the right is the small domino. This is how the big dominoes work. This is how the small dominoes work. The smaller dominoes are used for speeding up because they receive less air resistance. I'm going to calculate the force and pressure of the ball that drops. First, I measure the time it takes for the ball to drop, and then I times it by 9.8. Then I measure the weight of the ball and convert it to newtons. And I times the two results together, and it gives me 0.245 newtons. This is how I calculate the pressure. First, I trace down the surface area of the ball. Then, I measure the surface area and divided it by the force I just got 
in the previous calculation, and it gives me 10.8 pascals. I am going to calculate the work done of the dominoes. First, I measure the weight of one domino and convert it to newtons. Then I measure the time it takes for one domino to reach another and times it by 9.8. And then I measure the distance between two dominoes and convert it to meters. I times these three numbers together and it gives me 0.0098 joules and it is the answer. Thank you for watching.